I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is What's on the Tape Season 3. Uh, so this is the first episode, a 10 more to go, or 9 more to go after this one, should I say, if you add them all up. Um, and basically, the, 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 the simple premise is, I get a tape, and I see what's on it. Now, this is quite an interesting one. So we've got one here already. Um, this is an interesting one. This one was sent to me by um, a gentleman called Cy Owen, um, and this was his dad's tape. His dad put um, programs on this, and copies, and random other things, and it doesn't actually say an awful lot other than to, um, it's actually his dad's. I think it says dad at the top there. Yeah, it does. It's a dad's tape. So we don't actually know what's on this, and I don't, Cy doesn't either, and he came from a family of all Spectrum users, so so we're, ex we're I'm quite excited to see what we actually have on here. Um, this is just a loner for a change, um, so so it's going back to Cy after this, but we're going to give it a play, and we're going to see what's on here, and hopefully, hopefully, there's some interesting programs that have been created over the years. So, uh, and a bit of serious history on this one, even though the owner for a change. Anyway, um, without further ado, I'm going to stick it in the tape drive, and then we're going to try it. Right, so we've got the tape in the drive, so we'll go with the old faithful. Um, we'll go with basic, we'll go 48k basic, you never know. Um, it may or may not load, let's give it a whirl, push the button. Quite excited to see what's on this. I used to do these tapes when I was a kid as well. I used to, I used to. Oh. So there's so a couple of things there actually. Very early on, yeah, I used to do these tapes as a kid. I used to do all kinds of um, sort of various things. This could be a copy, Bobby. Hmm. This could be a copy to begin with. Anyway, uh, yeah, but I used to do all these kind of tapes. I used to do these sort of program tapes. I used to have loads of them. I didn't do them on a 90-minute one, though. This is a big tape to do these things on. Um, but I used to do them on sort of, uh, you know, the C6, C15, C16s. C15s, yeah, the C15 tapes were just about right length of time. You know, seven and a half minutes each side. Um, it was just the right length of sort of to, to actually do the, 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 the sort of the whole thing. Tape error. Rewind and reload. Well, that's not a good start. Bobby. Let me think. I wonder what Bobby could be. I mean, I, it could be... I don't I don't know. It sounds like a... It sounds like a... I don't... I don't, I don't know. I, I, this is one of these... It's exciting already. I can't believe it. So so I'm, I'm just going to have a quick look. I'm going to have a quick Google this. I'm going to Google this one. I'm going to quickly Google it. So see if we can find... If we can find a game called... I bet there's hundreds of games called Bobby. It's just one of those things, isn't it? Bobby. Go. I can't spell for a start off. I put Bibby in. <laughs> let's try that again. Let's let's try it spell correctly. No, I don't want to set Spectrum next. I can't spell today. I'm terrible. That's Bobby. Bobby. Um, like Bobby. Bobby. Bobby Bearing. That's probably what it was. I suspect. Yes, Bobby Bearing. Ah, interesting. Right, okay. Well, um, we'll, <laughs> we'll continue on, though, because we've already had one failure there. Let's carry on and see what else we can find. We might come back to Bobby Bearing. If I can. If, if I don't find anything that works on here, we'll try and load that, because I've got ZX Play on my uh, on my um, mobile phone, so it's quite handy for that kind of thing. So, now uh, we've got a bit of data there. A little bit of overwritten data. Okay, let's fast forward on a little bit. We'll see if we can find, we may be able to find another program. It's obviously been a well used tape because there was at least two different programs that started at the beginning before we got onto Bobby and it and it, and it didn't work. Alright, okay. Okay. A lot of data on this one. A lot of busy data as well because it's sort of all, it's all sort of a, a, a mishmash of sounds. It isn't kind of like one solid sort of Yep, definitely more data. Not, not a good start. Come on, there must be more data. This uh, tape, though, the AGFA, I, I remember these. I'm sure you got them from Boots. I'm sure this is where they got them from. It was always Boots. I seem to have quite a few. The thing I have also found about them was they're quite tight. Um, so, so sometimes your tape player really struggled pulling them through. I've actually got one somewhere, which I was going to look at for what's on tape, and I actually tried rewinding it, and the tape player wouldn't even do it. Um, but you could do... Oh, hang on. You could do it with a, with a pencil, but you couldn't do it with anything else. Mind you, you have to get the... the oh, master. Okay, sounds good. Screen's cleared. 
Yeah, but you couldn't do it. But you need to get a proper pencil as well, not one of these like um, modern day pencils, because they made them smaller. They made pens smaller and big smaller. I mean, seriously, the, the relationship between the pen and the, and the tape is completely gone now. There's no, there's no relationship at all. Oh, Master! Oh, is it He-Man? No, Mastertronic. Oh, I was thinking it was going to be He-Man. I was excited for him in there. My Masters of the Universe, you see. He-Man. Master of... Master of something? I don't reckon... Ah, do I know this game? Master of Magic! By Richard Darling. There's a guy climbing through the forest. Jim down there has done the graphics. Don't know this one. Don't know this one. I've probably got it. It's funny thing is, I've got quite a lot of Mastertronic games in my collection. I've got a huge, huge collection of games at this point. I, I, I a rough estimate, I think I've got 2,000 different titles for the Spectrum, or certainly 2,000 different boxes. I've probably got the same title a couple of times because in the sense of you know compilations and other things like that. But but I, I probably have 2,000 titles at this point. And I need to really seriously sort them. I keep book buying them, and and I know that I've got hundreds of them. I, I must have I must have 12 copies of Checkered Flag, for instance, and you know lots of punchies and things like that. Why did nobody ever keep those with their Spectrums though? How did they get out into the wild? I know because there was a pack with it. I mean, did we really hate Checkered Flag that much? That I know it came as a bundle, I think, with the plus two. Um, I think it also came as a possible bundle with the original Rubber Key Spectrum. But why did people just keep... Why did they get rid of them all? I mean, that's just it's just an odd one for me, that one. Because Checkered Flag is actually one of the better racing games out there. It's a really quite a cracking racing game. Um, but uh, it's, 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 a, it, it's just one of those sort of... I don't know why. I don't understand why. We, you know, there was lots of them collected up. Same with the packs that came with your plus twos. You know, you got a ten games with it. I was it ten or eight games or something similar. You got your plus two, um, and you got these ten games, and they're they're out in the wild. There, I know some of them are rubbish, but you think if you were a Spectrum collector, you would have them. It just says to me, though, that there's a lot of Spectrums out there that have gone or perished and uh, disappeared from the world, and that the, 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 the just the tapes have survived, which is really quite sad, actually. Um, I kind of don't, I don't, you know, I'm, 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 it's just a shame. It's spect the Spectrum needs to live forever, that's what I think. <laughs> I suppose it does in the Omni and the uh, Harlequins, and, uh, and, and I think there's a ZX Uno as well, actually, out there. Um, I mean, I suppose they live on that way, but you don't... And you don't quite load the tape the way you do here. You know, there's some real something really nice about doing that. Funnily enough, I was in uh, the, 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 the superstore Aldi the other day, and uh, Aldi are actually selling um, 80s boom boxes, which even have a cassette player in it. Now, if you give that... Uh, but it has Bluetooth as well, so you can connect your, your thing to it. But the thing is, would a kid nowadays know what a cassette was to go in it? Would they even know where you... I mean, where do you buy a cassette from nowadays? Um, uh, new... And you don't go on Amazon and find those kind of things. You don't you don't find them on any other sort of shopping store that I've ever seen. There are some specialist stores out there that are very reasonable, to be honest with you, to buy blank tapes. But I've not seen, I don't think I've seen any artist, you know, selling it like that. However, I did watch, um, well, I can't remember the name of the chap who did it. There was a rather nice YouTube video. And a bit like, you know, um, records and LPs, they, they, you know, they've, they've come back and you've got, you know, records and vinyl has, is, 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 has made a real resurgence. And... And no, rightfully so. It was actually the quality of the sound is much better. I mean, the assumption they made when they moved to MP3s was that everybody's sound range was exactly the same. So they cut off the top and the bottom of the range. Now, different people hear differently. It's like it's it's an, um, that's a huge assumption that you picked up the right range. That's so they can compress it and make it lossless and all this kind of stuff. That was what they did with these MP3s. Problem is, not everybody hears the same as everybody else. So so the the beauty of a uh, 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 vinyl is that. <clears throat> You've got the entire range, the entire range of sounds, and different people heard different things in music. That's why people, they've come back almost with a vengeance, you know? That's why people are back with them. Anyway, I digress. Where are we now? Whilst exploring an underground cavern, you chance upon a deep, bla um, a deep black pool. So we've got Blackpool, right, okay. Uh, a ripple on the mirror, uh, smooth surface draws you closer to the edge and a powerful hand sl um, slides out and swiftly drags you under. Oh, God. Oh, right. It's the hand of uh, Thelric, uh, the master of magic, who plunges you into the strange mystical world and of magic and evil. 
I'm assuming sp um, um, right. Okay. It is written in the book of magic that only Felric, Fel Felric has the no knowledge which ble um, blends time and space into a powerful spell to return you to your own world. Oh, so he's dragged us back through time. That was a bit unfair of him. Uh, he will cast his spell until you have retrieved the lot. Um, he will not cast a spell until you've retrieved the lost amulet of immortality, and without it, he will uh, he he will grow old and die. So there's a time element here. So he's going to grow old until I get that. Um, he teaches you some useful spells, and you embark on the dangerous quest. What if you didn't want to be on the dangerous quest? I'm going to re do R to redefine my keys first, though. So left, right, up, down, fire. That is good for me. You leave Felric and you say that you'll bring the amulet to the immortal um, uh, of immortality and place it on the pedestal by the pool. You will never return home. Oh right, I'm like little map thing in the map up there. This is interesting. Okay, so this is kind of oh, that examine nothing. I kind of look. There's something. What's this? Examine. Pedestal. Ah! A raised golden platform fluently covered with dust. This is like a text adventure but a graphical one at the same time. Cast. Nothing. I don't want to cast anything right. Okay. This is interesting. I've not seen this game before. This is quite good. So there's a fairy there. Do I need to shoot the fairy? Uh, no, it's attacks you with the bat. Ah! I'm going to pick up this, whatever it is. Scroll. I'm running. Can I fire at that bat? Cast. Fireball. You miss. This is a bit tough. Cast. Magic missile. At. Nothing. Ah, right there. We, we're on it now. Cast. Magic missile. Bat. Dead bat! Ha ha! Got ya! Right, do I want the bat though? Do I want to examine it? Let's examine the bat. No distinguishing features. Doesn't doesn't got a, a birthmark shaped like Jet Set Willy on it, so that's, we're okay. We'll examine the scroll. Find protection for your health. Gather potions by your stealth. Go up and down. Go up and east to find the treasure. Beware of the Minotaur, or he will. Uh, or be his pleasure. Oh my God, we're gonna get sexually abused by a by a minotaur, I think. So east, east. I'm going the wrong way. That's a minotaur that way, isn't it? East and up. East and up. I'm going east and up. This is really weird. I've not seen a spectrum game like this before. Um. Oh, those bats look weird. That that's kind of like what's in the room at the bottom there. Do you see that? Do you see there the, the things at the bottom? Bat. Yes, got the bat. Alright, cast. Uh, fireball. Yeah, I've just overkill the. Cast. I've got not enough power. Ah, ah, ah! I've got enough power power left. So, um. Let's have a little look, explore around this room. It's like a little roguelike, isn't it? I say, I don't even know. I, I don't even know if I've ever seen the cover for this game. It's very interesting. It's very interesting. So what I was saying about cassettes, though, you know, we're talking about lossless, um, um, you know, MP3s and the fact that they took the range and sort of said that's what everybody will go with. Um, and some people were like, "Hmm, well, that doesn't sound right." You know, if you if you if you if you if you're, if you're one of these people who loves music and sound and things like that, a bit of an audio file. Is it audio file? file, file? Yeah, I think it is, isn't it? Um, um, you know, you, you basically, you, you kind of lost out there. Now, when it comes to cassettes, there are various versions of cassette. <gasps> What's that? That's a, that's a, can I cast a spell on him? Don't enough ma ma magic. Oh, look at him, he's coming after me as well. Um, you, you basically, um, the cassette versions of this, there are actually different types of ferris that goes on it, so metalized, and you can get very metalized cassettes, ones that are, the quality is incredibly high on. Not the usual sort of, um, you know, bits and pieces that come out on, can we open this door? Open. Yes. Um, not the usual sort of cassettes, but, but, you know, there are, I think there's three different types, and this particular one, I can't remember exactly, it's a metal ferrite of some sort, um, or ferris, um, it, 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 it's 
very good the quality apparently incredibly high and it's actually worth listening to now um that's it's something i mean it's not quite as it's not quite as nice as a as a as a as a um i'll punch the bat oh god he's biting me hit the bat oh god right i'm getting eaten by the bat my health's going down oh i've gone upstairs now definitely a roguelike isn't it anyway um yeah so so apparently that there is actually a, a cassette format that actually is incredibly good and well worth the well worth listening to um which i didn't know about i never no idea i no idea at all i suppose it stood to reason that you could probably get better quality things like that I suppose it's like the uh, you know recording off the telly when you had your VHS, wasn't it? You know, or your or your Betamax. Always preferred Betamax, by the way. I thought the quality was nicer. It wasn't a particularly. It wasn't a good. It wasn't a good. Uh, it was. It was a. It was a teeny format. It was far too small. I'm getting murdered here by a skeleton. Oh my god! There's all kinds here. What the heck's that? That's an orc. Oh my goodness! I've gone right up here. This is cool, actually. In it, it's such a strange thing. I love the I love the um, the fact that I'm I mean okay I'm a little block and I'm doing whatever else it is. But the interactivity of the, the sort of menu systems. Um, if I haven't got this, I'm finding Masters of Magic or Master of Magic because this is kind of cool. Um, you you know the the sort of whole roguelike map there. You know that that sort of almost those as, um, um, ANSI characters or ASCII characters as it was years ago on the on the computers. So I'm gonna pick that up. Pick up. Scroll. And then I'm going to read the scroll. Inventory. Carrying nothing. Examine. Second scroll. Dagger of Death is a special kind of used um, on the Minotaur's weakness of his mind. Oh right, okay, Dagger of Death. Um, yeah, and that sort of that, that these basic sort of these basic sort of graphics. They now they work really well on this on 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 uh, the original Rogue game. Um, and it works really well on here. It's very smooth indeed. I really like it. Ouch. I'm going to get killed here though, I think. We've got more to see. This tape is very full. I can tell. I can feel I can feel how full it is. My health's going down. Definitely going to have to find this one. This is worth a look at. Um, definitely worth a look at. I'm just, I'm just, I was just thinking there. I was wandering around there thinking. It's a dog. It's so cool where the creatures at the bottom are sort of displayed in that way. I mean, it kind of avoids some of the issues. I mean, okay, the graphics and that. I mean, the graphics are of its day, but do you know what? It still works. I could see if I, had, if I wasn't recording this. Um, if I wasn't recording this video right now, I could see me playing this for a number of hours, trying to trying to work out what's going on and where I'm at, and even probably I don't even know if the map is is random. Can you imagine if it's procedural? That'll be an amazing. Um, you know that would be absolutely amazing. A procedural map, way back. You know way back when. I can't remember what date was on this. I think it was '84, was it? I may be wrong. Did you play this? Was this a game you guys played? Have you played this before? Have you? Do you remember it? Do you remember what the cover looked like? Oh, I'm gonna get eaten here. I'm gonna let the hellhound finish me. There we go. You are dead. That is cool, Master of Magic. I really quite like that. That's quite a good one. Okay, so that's a good start. I um, mean, okay, we didn't get Bobby, but but uh, I suspect that's Bobby Bearing. Um, but we we did get Master of Magic. That's a really good start. Okay, let's go for it. Let's let's see what else is on this tape. Push the reset button on the old specky. Right, down 48k, because we can we can always know where we're at with that. Load. Dip dip. Okay. So it's clear after that. Now we're about quarter of the way through the tape, I would say, here. So we could we could end up with lots of it or lots of emptiness. So it's quiet at the moment. Very quiet. Too quiet. <laughs> That's a Ghostbusters thing, wasn't it? Where uh, where he said uh, he says he says the words, "Listen, do you smell that?" Yeah, <laughs> it's a great line. <laughs> it's it's Ray, I think, and I can't remember what it is. I think it's Ghostbusters one. Great movie, amazing. Same time as this. Same time as this, roughly. E four was it? E three? E four? Ooh, now I'm testing my own knowledge. Can't remember. Remember the game was great on the Specky. Loved it. 
pretty much great on everything, to be honest with you. And, and and the Mega Drive version, I always draw special attention to the Mega Drive version. It was so different, but I really liked it. It was totally ridiculous. It was not. It was like somebody hadn't seen Ghostbusters, but apart from what the characters' heads looked like and a little bit of the uniforms, and then decided to make a, a game out of it. And you know what? It still works quite well. I quite like it. You know, you've actually got more more. It almost was like the birth of the extreme Ghostbusters because they had more weapons and different things. You know, so it's much 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 more different. Creative Sparks. Oh, Danger Mouse. Danger Mouse. Da -da -da -da. Danger Mouse. I love it. Double Trouble. It's still on, isn't it? They've remade it. They've remade this for kids. I think that's brilliant. It was David Jason, I think, was the original voice, wasn't he, of, of, of Danger Mouse. And Baron Von Greenback was the, the bad guy. The, the, the Toad. The Toad. Penfold. Down there, good old DM himself. It must have been a bit of a, a bit of a coup, I think, probably for Creative Sparks to grab this one. These are these kids' mo games that games that became, you know, or or franchises that became kids' games, and it, it's it's interesting to note note that. Now, it's interesting also to note that there is nobody taking credit by Creative Sparks for Danger Mouse, so I'm guessing they must have got the full on license for it. I wonder if anybody's got the license now to do it, um, because I thought this was a BBC property at the time. I may be wrong, but I'm quite sure it was the BBC's property, and they normally stuck their logo all over things when they loaded them. So, I don't think I've played this one. I may, may be wrong, because I have played one where you fly up and down in the car and kind of shoot things, so it's really, really hard. It's like a super hard game. It's not just not fun at all. Danger Mouse. He's the greatest. That's remember that part of the line from the song. Danger Mouse. He's the greatest. Danger Mouse. Oh, he's fantastic. Danger Mouse. And I can't remember the rest of it. I don't know if they still do that song. Nice graphics actually on the mouse himself. He looks good, kind of cool. Looks the business actually. Excellent, excellent. So this is a big, as I said before, this is a big, big tape. These are the, these are the sort of. I used to, as I say, I was actually hoping for a few programs. Actually, um, um, there may yet, there may yet be some. We might find them on the other side when we get there. This is gonna, as I say, this is the, uh, We come back with a with a bang to the to the to to, to what's on the tape, um, and 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 this is this is this definitely a, a bang. So while we're waiting for this to, to, to load, um, I'll, I'm going to give a quick shout out to uh, uh, David Birdsell. Um Congrats on 500 subscribers! You, you're well and truly on the way there. Um, he's done he's done really well. He did a, did a wonderful video recently about sort of you know thanking a few people. It was really quite funny. Um, and he, he's 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 got a new intro sequence coming. I'm very excited about this. Um, you know he's it's uh, it's sort of Dave Dave sort of uh, um, doing his version of. Uh, um, Top Gun, um, that's coming shortly. Um, pop over to his channel, I'll put a link in the description below if you want to pop on over there and say hi. He loves his spectrums as much as I love my spectrum. It's, 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 a, it's definitely a, a thing. Um, and another quick shout out as well to a, a wonderful chap called um, Andre Russell. Um, Andre, who's got a channel, I'll stick it in below as well. Um, um, Zombie Bob's um, Emporium of Tat. Um, Andre, um, he, he, he sent me recently um, a Toast Rack ZX Spectrum of 128K Toast Rack. Oh! I think he's made my he made my year probably my decade with that and um, that's absolutely amazing. Thank you very much for that. That's really brilliant. Um, and if there's anybody else, ah, oh, there's anybody else I, I know out there who wants to, to you know, I, I've forgotten. Please, 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 you know, I'm I'm really sorry, and I'll I'll catch up with you some other time. Um, but yeah, this is really good. Um, well, that's not really good, but that was they were really good. Right. Um, that's not a good start. Let's have a little look at the tip and see whether there's anything obvious on it. Yeah, it's a bit folded. At this point, that doesn't look good. Well, we'll fast forward on. We'll see what else we find on here. So we'll, we'll give it a good, get a good old new, and we'll give it a fast forward on. Um, so let's just play. We got sound there. About halfway through the tape now. There we go. We've got an empty space. So um, can't tape load. Load did it. Here we go. 
So um, yeah, recently I've picked up. Oh, I must have picked up three hundred tapes recently, and in, in various bundles. Um, I really, I keep meaning to do a, a pickups video, but it's going to be so long that you'll all be bored by the end of it. Absolutely bored, because um, when I show you a, a copy of Speaking Two for the fourth time, you'll probably be almost unimpressed. Um, it's also got a number of. I mean, there's some good games amongst it all. I, unfortunately, I'm I'm now I'm now at the stage where I'm looking at bulks and I'm sort of counting up the ones that I don't have. Oh no, out of memory. Oh, full-on reset then. We're definitely having this one, because Spy Hunter is an amazing game if this loads. I got this as well on the Spectrum from uh, from from uh, um, Andre. Um, not on the Spectrum, sorry. On the uh, Amstrad um, um, from Andre as well. And I'm, I'm looking forward to playing it, actually. I really am, because I, I think Spy Hunter is a, is a really good game. This is a, a Sega game. It's a conversion from an arcade game of the same name. Um... Where you basically chase down bad guys. It's just like an infinite sort of road. I don't think there's any end to it. I may be wrong. I don't think I've ever seen an end to it. Um, oh no, the tape's whistling. The tape is whistling. It's making funny noises. Let's rewind a bit. Let's give it a load again. See if it'll work. Oh. Here we go. I don't think it's happy. Come on. Let's get lucky. Yeah, excellent game though, this one. If it does load. Oh. Right, 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 right. We, we, well, I'm not letting this one, this, this, this one go unless, unless I can't get it. I'm going to have a little look on ZX Play. Well, we'll do well for us just for a second. We'll see whether or not we can get another stage to play because I really want to play this one because um, it's been a while um, and I think it's worth worth doing. I'll play ZX. Play ZX. I keep getting it wrong. I say ZX play every time. And it's play ZX. I don't know whether it's one of the ones that would be freely released. There are a few. Um, Spy Hunter US Gold. It is there. Let's get that one. Let me let me get my, my um, MP3 um, thing quickly, and we'll get this loading because I want to see this one. So hang on a second, I'll just go grab it. Okay, just going over the room. Back. One second, just got it. Got it. Hang on. Oh, I didn't expect to have to get this today. Actually, I was I was gonna go. I was gonna go without. I thought I thought a few more of them would load it actually. So and we go with the uh, with the cassette adapter. It's the ones they used to use in cars. You know, you get those ones a couple of pennies. I think I think that you can get them on Amazon for like about eighty p. You can even get them on eBay for less. Um, um, they're not very expensive. They basically allow you to stick a stick a something like an MP3 player or anything like that, and it's got a jack on it into into the the whole thing. So um, I am going to load like that and push the play on there, and there we go. Nice smooth signal this time round. Right, let's go for it. Spy Hunter. Let's hope it loads. I don't see why it shouldn't. Ooh, interesting. I think this is its copy protection, you know. Yeah, I think that's probably very much likely to be its, its copy protection on the whole thing. I always feel it's a bit cheating, you know, when you play ZX. Because you actually know how long the tape's going to last before it actually loads. So it's kind of a bit of a cheat. This is the original one from US Gold. This is the uh, this is 1985 version of it. Um, I would say it's a bit of a, I always feel it's a bit of a cheat, but 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 it's it's this for me. It's always about loading something. I like I like the I like the load feeling. I know you have got lots of things out there that you know div MCs and things like this where you can just plug plug in a, an SD card and it instantaneously boots and um, or instantaneously loads. And it's great. I really like it, and I think it's really good that you can do that. But uh, you know, this is all part of the experience. You have to sit um, and. It's not a waste of your life. <laughs> you could say you're wasting time, but it's all part of the experience. The experience of loading games is just one of the greatest ever. It's just, it's just great because it makes it makes the playing the game all the sweeter as well. Because you, you you've had to wait for it to come in the first place. You've had to look at the the loading screen. In this particular case, I mean, look at it. We've got boats, helicopters, things, explosions, guns and cars. I mean, you can't really beat that for a bit of, you know, sort of going on realistically, can you? Um, so, so 
this is this is one of the parts of the experience. This is the thing. Um, I think, it, I, uh, funnily enough, I always thought it was a bit spoiled when you came to the point where they started putting timers on it and you actually knew how long it was going to take. I just thought that was a bit of a cheat, really. Um, never very pleased about that one. Everybody seemed to have a copy of this. Um, it was one of the ones that we all, I think we all, I think we all, we all had a, a copy of. But but it's it's still a great game. Really like it. Bally Midway, Sega official, uh, official Sega arcade game. I don't think I ever saw the arcade version. I can imagine it's all very brightly coloured and quite interesting, but but I, I don't remember ever seeing the original arcade game. Just looking at, just cheating there, looking at the phone, see how long, long we've got before we start. One of the things about this, though, is, as I say, it was in sort of an infinite road that you drove upwards on. Um, you could get extra weapons by by um, getting into vehicles and sort of these trucks would come past you and you'd drive into the truck and you'd get things like that. Um, and then you also had the opportunity, if you went down the banks to the river, there was like a little gateway and you went through this gateway and all of a sudden you appeared in a speedboat and you could buzz down the river in a speedboat. It's kind of cool. Very clever. Oh, there we go. There we go. Um, keyboard. Can I remember the keyboard? I think I can, so I'm going to go with that. Oh, it's going to ask me. All oh, right, that's fair enough. Left, right, up, down, space for fire. Happy with these keys? I certainly am. I'm a novice, because I'm not very good at these things. So here we go. So as a little car. We accelerate up along the load. And freeze. Ah! Oh! Oh no! Oh god, I've made I've made a massive mistake here. You see it's frozen. Oh my gosh. Spacebar of course is freeze, isn't it? Oh no. Yeah, it is spacebar's the the, the 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 fire button. Ah oh, no, so I can't shoot. So you're meant to be shooting at all the bad guys basically. Um and I can't shoot at any of them. Look and get this missile here and I can't do it. There you go, so I'd get that missile. Um Oh no, and I can't touch him either. And he's got it he's got his he's got his Oh no, he's got me. I can't fire uh, because I've put the space bar is also the pause, which is really good. I hate when games used to do that. There's quite a few games on the spectrum that used to do that where you the pause would be could be the same button. And it's do you know why? It's because when the original spectrum was created, the space bar was like a tiny little square on the far left uh, far left hand side. Yes, that's correct. Far left hand side, and as a result, because it was on the far left hand side, um, you, nobody ever used it for 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 any much. But once they moved it to the bottom, where it should really be in the middle, um, people started using the space bars there. Whatever else is, let's go down here and become a boat. Yeah, we're speedboat now. Look at that. I wonder if you win if the time runs out. There's like a little timer at the bottom. I don't think I ever got to that point. These things can drop mines. I remember that about these boat boat drivers. I wonder if you ran out of time. Oh, there's the mine. Maybe you do run out of time. I don't remember. I don't remember. I killed a duck there. I feel bad for killing a duck. Oh, should have gone up there to get back on the road. So do I win by running out of time? I can't remember. I haven't run out of lives yet, so so maybe I do win by running out of time. Oh, I say I haven't run out of I haven't run out of uh, must be time. Hmm. Well, did you play this? Because this is the question. I don't know. Ah, right now I'm on to ah. So there's a boss car to beat. Right. Okay. Um, I can't remember very much about this game. I do remember the missiles and all the other bits and pieces. That's clearly the boss car. A uh, detour on the bridge to the left. Yeah, okay. Because the bridge is out. Yeah, bridge is out. Oh, the thing at the bottom's gone. There was like a little pink car at the bottom. I don't know what that was about. Ouch. Game over. New high score. Well, it would be nice if we could actually shoot. Okay. Well, we didn't have much luck with that one, I'm afraid. I would like to have shown you more, because I quite enjoyed that one as a kid, because I thought it was quite... Because it was quite fast, it was quite arcadey, it was quite a lot of fun. Um, so so I used to quite enjoy playing that one. So, 
Um, we'll put that to one side and we'll get the other tape back in again. And we'll give it a quick fast forward. So so we'll reset the specky. Yeah, no, I used to quite like that one as a kid, but anyway. I was, that's why I actually went to the trouble of, uh, of sort of uh, playing through that one. Right, okay, here we go. We'll load it, dip. Uh, let's give this a fast forward because we're at Spy Hunter. And I'll see whether or not... Yeah, uh, Spy Hunter. Quick fast forward, and you hear all this. Okay, space, good. Ready for the next game. Now we are over, just over halfway through this tip. See, I'm looking forward to side two because I think side two could possibly have some programs on. I'm hoping that's the, the logic that went with it all. I've got a spare tape recorder down the bottom in case we actually get any recordings of anything else, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. Voices from the past as such. Very quiet so far. Should we give it a quick fast forward? I think that might be our, our lot. That's very commonplace though, you know, you end up with this very large tape and you'd only have like half a dozen things on it. My friend used to do this and he used to have he used to have he used to have ninety minute tapes that were ninety minutes. He used to just jam everything on. He'd have like ten games on a single side. It was just ridiculous. Maybe more. Twenty games maybe. Well, I'm fast forwarding now. Nope, nothing there. Nothing thus far. Nope. Nope. Um, I've got a quarter of the tape to go. Very ad hoc, this, you know, sort of approach. And we're just having a little bit more fast forwarding. Yeah, I think I think I think in all fairness we're absolutely you know, we've only got a teeny bit of tape left. I think that we can we can safely say there is nothing further on that side. Let's rewind the other side and let's get to the beginning and see if we can find anything on the other side. Here we go. Now there's some interesting games there, worms I haven't played in years, you know that? Well, certainly Spy Hunter I haven't played in years, I haven't played, I don't know which Danger Mouse that was. Bobby Bearing, I don't think I ever played it, I know the name, rings a bell now, um, but but I don't remember playing it, I'm sure it was isometric. Um, and then, oh, here we go. Green Beret, oh, oh, somebody's talking my language, we love Green Beret. This is, this is, I remember, oh, Green Beret, Green Beret, right, it's just an amazing game, um, I remember it was double tape um, thing with, with, with a, uh, the, it's basically a couple of uh, uh, Russian tack, which is basically a kind of uh, play on words, so Russian attack, are you with me, so Russian attack, and attack with the no, in the middle, um, but it's play on the words. But they, they, for some reason, I don't know if it was just U UK or whether it was all of Europe. We got Green Beret. Um, now Green Beret is just an amazing game. I remember buying it seven pounds ninety five. It was, um, and I went to. Oh no, no, no! Don't crash! Don't crash! We're gonna try you again because I can't have that. Let's give that another, another try. I remember going. And I bought this, and this is this is your time at times. You know, a lot of Spectrum stuff in my local town or, or local city were were actually uh, at the local market. So you'd go to the market, you'd buy them from the market. And I remember actually buying this from the market, and I was delighted with it. I was so chuffed. Um, it was it was an original version before you think that it wasn't, but, uh, but it was. It was just amazing. You used to get a lot of things from the market, you know, um, because they were cheap enough. I think they could sell them pretty much anywhere. And I think that the distributors at the time weren't particularly fussed where they just actually sold them to. Um, but yeah, this is this is this this green bray is one of the is one of my faves, um, and it really is an arcade conversion. It's really good. In fact, I would hazard I would hazard you know sort of I would I would say um, that it probably is better than the arcade version. I know that's big words there, but I actually think it's probably better than the arcade version. Is is green bray on the on the spectrum? I really think it's really good. I think it's that good. I mean, then the cover was just amazing. Nice big sort of picture of a sort of green beret. I think he hadn't, he hadn't had a gun or a knife in his hand. Either way, it didn't really matter. He was just, it was just a badass. That was the thing. It was just a badass. 
Um, and this is those, this is one. This is this is this is hopefully the game, and hopefully it will load um, because I've got to show you this one. This is, as I say, my one of my all-time sort of fave. No, you can stop doing that. Right. Okay. Tape out. We're gonna go for the. We're gonna get the the, the play ZX back on again because we've got to we've got to go with this one. This is a this is an absolute classic. Um, let's get this thing back in. I have to have actually an original copy somewhere in my my, my house. It's um, it's lying around somewhere. Um, you know, in a box because I've got quite. As I say, I told you about this bulk buying thing. I've got loads of them. I've got. I think I've got the Hit Squad version of it, um, and I have the original with the the double cassette like I used to have as a kid. So 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 I have those lying around. Green beret. Imagine software that will do nicely. I wonder why the Hit Squad version. This is really weird. I'm looking at this here, and I'm like, why is the Hit Squad version? The Hit Squad version of it is a full minute longer. Did it have music on it or something? There was a couple of there was looks like there's a few re-releases of it, some shorter than others. It's really weird. Maybe it's just the way it's recorded on here. I don't know, or where they pull their database from. But either way. We've got to play this one. An amazing game. Now I've seen various versions of it. Um, the, the I don't think the Amstrad version is particularly good. Um, just a little bit jerky, I think. Um, but the but the but the um, I'm hoping this is going to load. At least we know the sound and signal is good on this one. Um, but anyway, um, the the, the um, Amstrad version is a bit jerky. The Commodore 64 version, which we, we should never discuss, the Commodore 64 version. But the Commodore 64 version is pretty good, actually, as well, I have to admit. Um, but the but the Spectrum version, for me, because it runs in higher resolution graphics, yes, it's monochrome. Um, but still, it's a tough old game. I really like it. Um, the idea is to rescue. There he is. Oh, he had an M60, 60, didn't he, on front just so hard he's got a big old gun in his arm he can shoot anything Konami that was who made it as I say I'd hazard, I'd, I, would, I, would, I would quite happily state that I think that the conversions were probably better because they came after obviously the arcade version so they could probably I mean I think it's probably because they could clean up some of these things um, as I say delighted with this one this is, a, this is birthday money used for this for me I went out and got it and I was I, oh you know, I, I didn't stop playing it all day, and I still, and I'm still rubbish to this day at it. I should be better, but I, but I'm not particularly good at it. It's because it's really tough because the enemies keep coming, and you've got to know. Um, it's a sort of pattern learning thing, and I was never very good at learning the patterns on these things. I really should have got better, shouldn't I? Um, plenty of experience, but anyway. Okay, just waiting for him to load. There's some, there's some big missile launcher in the background there with a Russian sort of sniper waiting for him. He's working his M60. Or is it an M60 or is it an M something something else? M62 or something like that where you've got a, where you've got a um, 602? Is it a 602? I don't know. There's a sub, snub nose version of it. A more, more um, portable version of the M60. It's probably an M60 though, but going back to those days. Same thing that uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger used in uh, Commando. Um, at the very end, it's just a ridiculous moment where he's just shooting, you know, bullets, and his muscles rippling as he's just shooting plant pot. Because I, I, I just remember the one thing that always sticks in my head, and I may be wrong, because I, but I certainly remember he was shooting across the garden, and just all the plant pots were exploding. And I was thinking, you're not actually hitting anybody, um, and maybe he was, but all, all I remember is the plant pots exploding and all over the place. It just seemed a very unfocused way of doing it because he wasn't aiming; he was just like thumping out 3,000 rounds a minute or whatever he was doing. That's maybe not 3,000 rounds a minute, but, you know, 200 rounds a minute, maybe. Possibly with a machine gun like that. Um, so, so, but, yeah, he uh, sort of pumping those out and those plant pots just popping on the side. It was just a ridiculous... <laughs> ridiculous snap. Mind you, most of those action movies, the, the 80s and 90s, were pretty ridiculous, but they were brilliant at the same time. They would just kind of turn your brain off and just let, you know, let Arnie blow something up or, or Sylvester Stallone destroy something. But then, of course, we had the, 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 the you know, the, 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 uh, the Bruce Willis's of the world, who's just awesome in things like Die Hard. I mean, that was the, that's a fantastic, fantastic game. Right, okay. Uh, keyboard, one. Okay, let's do this. So, up, down, left, right, 
uh, stab, um, shoot, because you get like an extra weapon you can use. Am I happy? Yes, assuming it doesn't do it. Stab to start. I love that. There's our little man. And they, I love the way it turns into a little... Oh no, I hate him. This is the thing about it, I hate it. It's the jumping ones. Every time, jumping ones, every time. I've never, I've never sought out, work out how best to deal with them. Always get me. Oh, you little monster. Doing it again, doing it again, doing it again. I'm giving you a really important example of it. But but you see, I think the graphics look better than the arcade on the Specky. Which maybe it's just me, but I do think they look better. Oh yeah, there's my rocket launcher thing. Save that for the end. Oh, I went up a ladder instead of shooting him, and now I've lost my bloody gun thing. Damn it. Now there's this guy with a rocket launcher. That's it. you got to jump. you got to jump at the right time to get him. It's a pain behind. Still think the specky version looks amazing. Oh, and I've missed the stab. I love the way that the most effective weapon you've got is a knife. There's no guns, it's just a knife, because it's just awesome. You don't need any guns, you've just got a knife. We go. See the concentration going on now. Can't hit him in the head, which is a real shame. Now I'm sure there's a knack to this when we get towards I'm not I'm not finished level yet, but as I say, once you finish the base, you you've got it. I love this game. Do you not do you not think the graphics look amazing? If you don't think the graphics look amazing, I just I just think it's I mean did you play this? It's just it's just a Oh, it's one of my favourite Specky games. So hard, but the thing for me is, it's so hard to choose my favourite. This is good because you can hold them here without any particular hassle. You just have to clear out this whole thing at the end of the level bit. So we're just going to stab it, stand here and snap, and then we're at the harbour. This is pretty much my, the limit of my ability, by the way. We're right now. Oh, I haven't used one of the weapons yet. You haven't even seen me shoot one of these things, and it's all over again. Yeah, excellent game. No, brilliant. I really, I really like Green Beret on the Spectrum. I think it's worth so worth playing. It's so tough. I mean, or well, maybe it's just me that can't handle it, but it's such a tough game, but it's so cool. It really is. I mean, this compilation tape so far, I mean, the selections on it are brilliant. I'm really, really, really enjoying them. Um, so, but yeah, it's the Green Beret. Oh, nostalgia. Oh, amazing. Love nostalgia. Right, skip past this. Let's skip past this. Let's find out what else is on this tape. There's nothing written on this side of the tape, actually. I, I was expecting something to be written on it. But there's nothing there, so um, let's skip on. That's a long one, this one. It's a big tip, though, as I said before. It's a big tip. It's a big tip. This is a good. This is a. It's good selection. Great selection. What the heck? Sounds like a Dalek. What's this? Whoa! 
Sounds like machinery. Let's fast forward a bit. Oh, we got, we got it, we got. Okay, we got some something coming. There we go. We got something. Oh, so weird. Maybe just bad recording or loud recording. Cyber. Hmm. Well, this could be any number of things. This one. Okay, cyber. At least if we get the loading screen, we'll know exactly where we're at with it. You know, I, I, somebody said, quote, commented before that it's 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 quite quite surprising. You know, if you've been a Spectrum user, you can kind of you can hear, and you can tell when the screens are coming. I mean, it was pretty obvious though. I mean, it was always it was like the first bit was the load of the program element where it was kind of set up whether or not you were doing what, whichever you were doing, and then usually it was the screen was was loaded. So, um, but there was a sound, a distinctive sound that sort of, and it kind of finishes with a -da 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 -da, it's colours, and that's the kind of thing. Cyberon, oh. Do I know Cyberun? I don't know. There is a terrible whistle coming from this. On the background of this now, there's a there's a bad there's a bad whistle that's coming off the tape. So so I apologize for that. Um Yeah, but you could tell for, as a spectrum owner the the sort of sound of a screen being loaded. I I I, I don't think it applied it definitely didn't apply to the Commodore users out there because um, yours didn't actually have this is a this whole screen sort of loading element thing that was part of um, something that was a hangover from the ZX81. The ZX81 when loading because there was a lot going in there was a glitch in the screen so it sort of kind of formed lines so they brought it over to the Spectrum which is kind of a nice and cool thing so you always knew it was loading or something was going on so you could actually see in some way that the data was shifting around around in some visual way um, with the Commodore I think the Commodore they they didn't they had to kind of invent it it wasn't there it wasn't by, by default in there um, so so it's it's kind of a cool thing um, don't think it's there on the Amstrad either I think the Amstrad just sort of you it, they they had to kind of put it in there made similar noises if you could actually hear the tape but it wouldn't be the same sort of wouldn't be the same sort of built-in sort of functionality of, of loading and saving um, I still think the colour combination is lovely as well. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm just a, I'm a sucker for this kind of thing. Cyber Run. Oh, don't do that. We've got a lot of load areas here. It was sounding pretty bad, that one. It was sounding pretty bad. Well, you see, I don't even know what that is now. This is even worse. So I think, I think, I think we're going to have to find Cyber Run and we're going to have to load Cyber Run from something else. So let me just clear this off here and let's sign out what Cyber Run is. Um, good old ZX play again. Off the old phone. Get that on there. Go down there. Load did dip. Load. Did dip. Enter. Right, okay, I'll quickly find it. Do you think it'll be under Cyber Run or the Cyber Run? I mean, Cyber Run. Run. Oh, this isn't looking good. I don't think it's on here. So that was actually something that we've not seen before. The Cyber Run, maybe. The. Ooh. Well. Well, 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 well. Oh, this is this is. Uh, no, the plot thickens here with this one. Cyber Run doesn't exist on on. On, uh, on on certainly on um, play ZX I'm gonna do a sort of, I'm gonna do a little Google to see if I can find it um it may be one of those games that isn't available the cyber run wasn't it cyber run oh it's there it's there uh, it was created by um developed by the elite gameplay published by is it all known a part of the jetman series it's got very similar st feel to Luna jetman oh wow Oh wow! I must try it. Try looking for this quickly again. It may be a game that's not available. So so um. Cyber. Found it. It's not a game I've ever played before. I found it. Found it. Let us play it. It's a big one though. It's a big one. It's uh. It this is uh, 1985. This is 1985. This is um, 
part of the... Oh, I'm just going to do a quick look at this. This is part of the Lunar Jetman thing. I don't think I've ever played this. Lunar Jetman Sales. Not written in partnership with um, um, Tim and Chris Stamper. Basically, they're the people who wrote Jet Plaque and um, Lunar Jetman. Um, the, play, play, the player in, in Jetpack that you must construct. A, so it's got similarities. You've got to construct a spaceship and whatever else. It came out on the Spectrum, then the Amstrad, and the MSX. I'm just trying. I'm just looking here. And I'm wondering um, whether or not. I'm just going to quick look see if there's a. Oh yeah, I do remember the. I do remember the 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 the, the art for it. Um, the art, um, which I, I, if I can remember, I might put on screen, but I might not because it is a big, it's a big one. This one, I got to remember where I'm actually at. Is it sort of like these solar sailing ships that are flying along? Um, I do remember it. It didn't strike me. Um, a lot of the the original um, sort of ultimate games just sort of grabbed me, and I, I'm, I sort of had to own them uh, uh, all along the way. But this is not a game that I actually um, had that that I had to own. It wasn't one of those games that sort of jumped out at me and I said I must own this cyber run it is the game for me um, so this is a new one for me another new one oh, they're doing so well here with new ones I love people's tapes though and the you know it's it's such a it's it's combination sometimes it's a trip down memory lane, memory lane when you find those games of nostalgia of sort of find those games that you used to play and you go, oh wow you remember that one I did play that one loads and loads and loads a bit like my green beret just two seconds ago but then you find some things that you didn't actually play something that you missed that somebody else you know the, the, and that's the, the and that's the strange thing about um, the sort of almost the the, the, the you know um, copying of games back in the, the the 80s and 90s copying of the games kind of almost defined a bit like it does with tv series i think nowadays when people sort of do whatever they do on the internet in the sense of downloading them kind of defines the popularity of a of a show or a game by how many times it kind of appears in 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 copy tapes now I, i've often ended up covering the similar sort of things i have seen uh, multiple times you know um, uh, Manic Miner and Jet Set Willy a few times have been definitely on my tapes that I've done um, uh, and it's funny though because I, you know that, that uh, those particular games they're good they're very very good don't get me wrong but I would have liked to have seen more Chucky Eggs. Now they're out there. I've seen a couple of Chucky Eggs, um, but but I think Chucky Egg kind of easily easily um, as as good as Manic Miner. In fact, probably. Uh, on an arcade scale, probably better because more levels and whatever else is. But 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 there are some games out there. But these these sort of the ultimate ones, you see them quite a bit. You see your jetpacks and whatever else is. There are some really classic games amongst this all. But there's so many games produced. Um, I mean, if you look if you look at some of these you know sites that actually store um, spectrum sort of bits and pieces. You know the the, the, the bits and pieces that go with the spectrum things. Um, you'll you'll see that the, the on game side. Um, the numbers of games actually equate to sort of fifteen to twenty thousand sort of games that were created for the spectrum, um, not including anything else that may have been done um, within the whole thing. It, it, it's 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 just quite phenomenal how many pieces of uh, software were created for the um, for 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 the spectrum, um, and that doesn't include the applications. Um, and you got to remember the applications is where Sir Clive wanted the Spectrum to be. That's why his machine was never developed with um, sort of specific. It had graphics, but they weren't designed as um, graphics that you play. Uh, you know, they were designed with sort of a grid reference of sort of x number of columns worth of text by x number of columns worth of text. That's why we get our color clash because they're basically moving from almost text spaces to text spaces. So, so instead of uh, instead of having being able to maintain more than one color in one place or two colors in one place in those um, you know x by x number of squares, and um, that's where it all came from. Unfortunately, he he was he wanted it to be this to be a business machine, but unfortunately. I priced it in the range that made it a, a home computer and then became a gaming, gaming giant. Um, if he'd concentrated on that, I suspect that we probably would have still seen some form of Sinclair along the way. So, so anyway. Right, okay. Um, I don't know what the keys or the keyboard will be for this, but I am going to give it a damn good go and a guess. So, let, let's see if I can work out what the keys are. That's shooting. That thrust. Okay, these are all. This is always tough. 
do do. That's thrust. Is that left and right? Oh god. I think I've got left and right. So it's jet lunar jet man. So it stands to reason the controls are very similar. Yeah, I've got it. Right, so I'm guessing I've got to collect that booster over there first. Yeah. Oh cool! I'm kind of increasing my ship. Ah right! Okay. Okay, so so my ship gets bigger and uh, bigger and more powerful as I collect things, because I'm get part of this run to do whatever else it is. Oh god, these, they they're nasty. They are. Right, so got to fly around finding parts of my ship. These guys are really unforgiving. Must be more parts of the ship. Where where would they be? There's some boosters. That's for me to fly upwards, I guess, to get more power going upwards. Very little noise, just a little bit of... Ah, now, now I've got better thrusters so I can go up. It's a little bit... Um, it, I mean, the thing about Lunar Jetman, which... which I mean, I, I I think I posted on Insta uh, on 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 my Instagram on on Twitter a little um, demonstration of me playing it. I literally achieved like death in three seconds. It was ridiculous. So so let me try this again. So I got a so I've got that first. Get off me! That's really unfair. That's really bad. Right, so now I've got thrusters to go upwards. I need to go see if I can find... See if down here... That that dude behind me is just horrendous! Seriously unforgiving game. Now, I need this thruster because that makes me go so much faster. Alright, go down here. There must be some more stuff down there. It seems to be all on the ground. Oh, good grief. It's a bit tough. Extremely unforgiving. Horrible. Very bad. Hard to play. Incredibly hard to play. And we're going to go down this cavern here. So I'm guessing there's some more stuff down here. So I'm trying to pre-build my ship, basically. I guess to get off the planet. Must have, I must have collided with it or something similar. Okay, here we go. Ah, it's just really, really hard. Really, really hard, and not an awful lot of fun. Um. You can take a couple of collisions. I've just noticed that at the top of the screen, the, sh the ship kind of goes green, pink, and yellow, or something similar, and then it destroys itself. No, I can definitely on on, on the scale of things. I mean, on, and you see, and I'm going to say something controversial here. I'm going to very controversial. Um, see, I I used to like I, I like Ultimate games. Um, I liked a lot of the 2D ones. Um, um, I'm not a big fan of the isometrics. I don't like um, don't like the night laws and things like that of the world. They're not my favourites. I um, know it's controversial, but but I think I, and I, th I think it's a movement issue. So as I fast forward through the state, I'll see what we got next. Um, I think it's a movement issue for me on those. Um, I think if they smoothly moved across the whole room instead of just walking, you know, left, right, up, down in in the angles that they were going, that would be okay. I think I think I could survive that. I think I could definitely manage that. Um, but I don't think that the, the, the way that they, you know, sort of just do that movement, it's very restrictive. And I know that's probably a more a, a, a computer a restriction than necessarily a... More a computer restriction than a, than anything else. But, yeah, it's not, not one of my... It's not... No, it's just this. I think this we're going to have some problems with this tape, by the way. I guess I can hear it really sort of making noise here. Um... Uh, yeah, it's computer restrictions more than that than necessarily. I think the technical 
thing. Right, here we go. Let's see what we're at. No, this is not going to listen to good. FP. Let's see if we can get the background to load anyway. FPC bytes. Hmm. Oh, fighter pilot. Right, oh, by D, uh, D, D something or other. Digital something or other. That's ah, very tough to play, to be honest with you. DK Marshall. Yeah, digital integration. That's it. I've got a copy of this somewhere already. I think this is a fighter pilot simulator. In fact, I know it's a fighter pilot simulator. What plane am I flying, guys? Because I don't know. It's an F-14. I think it's an F-14. I think it's. I think we're. Think, I think we're eating, entering the danger zone again. There may be a highway there. <laughs> oh, the homage meter went just went just hit the ski uh, the, uh, the ceiling there. Uh, might be have to be a nice man to fly it. I don't know. <laughs> Be a bit maverick. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, 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 dear. Right, yes. So, um, fighter pilot. No, don't think I've. Do uh, you know something? I think I've got it. I think I've loaded it a few times, probably on previous uh, what's on the tapes. Don't think I've actually played it. I think that the usual gist of it is that I can't get off the ground um, because there's usually too many controls. Gotta, gotta admire these guys though. They attempted to put an entire simulation into, um, in this case, 48k of memory. I mean, seriously, they're trying to put an entire flight simulating or pilot, fighter pilot simulator in 48k of memory. It's awesome. I mean, you'd probably say that to some developers nowadays. and They'd be like, we what? How would you do that? You know what I mean? I, I, you, could, you, could, you can imagine you can imagine that being the case. I think that's crashed. Yeah, that's most definitely crashed. Right, okay. I am not even going to bother looking at that one beyond that because I, I, it's not one of my... It's not It's not one of my... It's not one of my favourite sort of games. I've got the music thing playing in the background. So we'll get this loaded and going. We'll, we'll, and we'll, go, we'll see what else is on here. We're about halfway through the second side of the tape. That's the end. That's the end of the. Oh, you can feel it's the end of the. There we go. All right, it's clean now. Quiet. So that's a good sign. Let's see what we've got. It's been a while since I've rendered such a big video. To be honest with you, as well, I have to make sure the 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 uh, the process is nice and clear. The 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 the, the uh, on my computer. Last time I tried to do this, I realised there was loads of fluff in it, and all the fluff was getting in the way. It was just ridiculous. Terrible. To get, I might have to get the vacuum cleaner out and give a good suck it all out. Okay, silence. That might have been it. Might have been. Let's fast forward a bit. I think this is it. I think this is it. Let's give it a little fast forward forward. There's a wine on the tape again now. Yeah, just a wine on the tape. We're just getting a bit of a bit of whining going on. But a white noise. No, we're, we're, we're just, we're uh, three quarters of the way through the tape. I think. I think I can, I, we're almost, keep going to keep going just, just a little bit more.
just a whine on the tape unfortunately I think we can probably say less than that very little left on the tape now yeah we just we just got to I think we just got a whine here with 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 what we've got I'm afraid that's it, guys. That's the that's the tape. That's the whole thing. I'd like to say thank you to Sayo and for for the loan of the tape. It was it was it was it was. I hope it was a trip down memory lane for him, but for me certainly there was a few games that I had not seen before. That was really good. So that was excellent. Um, thank you for watching. I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Hopefully another episode next weekend. Um, and we'll continue on for at least ten episodes, and then I'll take a break like I did last time round. So, um, thanks for watching. Please look at the uh, previous videos if you want to. They're really good. Um, uh, if I do say so myself, I know that's be getting but they are good um <laughs> anyway um please feel free to like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video bye bye now